is nothing compared to their tears. Because our challenge is nothing compared to their fight. Because we are all on one journey. To conquer cancer. When we started off in the morning, you could just feel the energy. This weekend is the best weekend of the year. Ready, set, ride! You said, I'll help. You said, I'll make the difference. We have raised over $2.6 million for fight cancer. I feel like they're looking after us. I'm so glad I made the decision to do this. You know, when you get on a bike, it, it really opens up your mind. I don't even think about cancer. The countryside that they've picked to go through, just a beautiful area to ride. It's not a race, you can go at your own pace. And they've made it really easy to make this track. People from all walks of life are doing this. It's just fabulous, everybody can do this. It is amazing what people can do when they pull together, when people have a singular goal. The resources that are needed to conduct research in a large institution like ours are tremendous. A lot of the funding's been cut to research and it's, it's, it's really detrimental to patients. We need help. We need help to find a better treatments. We need help to find a cure for cancer. We need help helping people navigate through healthcare systems. I'm a lucky one. I was close to John Hopkins. I want to thank you. You guys saved my life. Thank you, really. I'm here because of you guys, all of you. We are now curing diseases that seemed unimaginable three years ago. So think about what that means, because remember, the 2015 Ride to Conquer Cancer starts right here, right now. All you cancer survivors, um, you're just so inspirational. And for people like me who've never had cancer, but have been touched deeply by it, gives you a sense that you, uh, you're helping those people. Thank you all for being here. Let's beat this thing. Being on this ride, I'm amazed at the ability that we all had to raise at least $2,500. I never thought I could do it myself, and uh, I exceeded my goal. As of yesterday, I think it was like $5,100. We did $16,000. Total now is over $45,000. We had a couple fundraisers in town at a winery and a local restaurant. I fundraised using Facebook and just through friends. I utilized the website and also I sent some personal messages to some friends, family. Riding along the yellow flags, it's inspiration. Just look for a yellow flag. That's somebody who survived. How cool is that? Well, I'll tell you, it was quite uh, emotional to pick up this flag this morning. And... Six weeks after his surgery, get an email. Email says, going for a 20 mile ride. You want to come with me? I said, Are you sure? You know, you want to do that? And he just said, uh, I need that hill. Uh, and if, if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know. I don't know what does. Thank you. You know, my dad won't be there at the finish line. I was very much looking forward to that. I know he's with me. I have a few items of his with me in my, uh, in my bag. It's a watch that he always wore. And this was a scapula that uh, he was diagnosed with um, thyroid cancer when I was little and beat that. Um, and he kept this with him. <clears throat> but uh, just give me a minute. Um, I've done a lot of fundraising, but this is obviously the most meaningful thing I've done. I wish I could cure everything. But I'm sad because I lost my wife, my best friend, my companion. 
A lot of times coming up these hills, I could have stopped. I had a pain in the side, ran out of water. I said, no, dear, I'm doing it for you. Her pop up, my first cousin, and everybody out here riding today. That's her fingerprints on the back that she made. And I just, I miss her so much. I just can't wait to be there with her. This is the third time I've had cancer. I feel good to be here and to be able to help others. And the best part about this whole venture when we started training back in early spring was just watching Catherine get stronger and stronger. <laughs> End of July, all of a sudden she was beating me and I chased her the entire day today. <laughs> she was so strong. I'm riding in memory of my beautiful young niece, Finley. I just felt like the smallest thing that I could do would be to get on a bike and ride 150 miles. You realize there's still so much to be done and there are a lot more funds to be raised. Two years ago, excuse me. <laughs> Two years ago, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And, uh, and this was a, it's been a tough two years for us. And, Almost a year ago, about 10 months ago, I uh, got a message about the ride to conquer cancer. When I saw it, I, I couldn't help but, but say, just go for it, that this is for me. I was so emotional coming across that finish line. It, it was incredible. With something as massive as this, it's not completely about you. It's about being part of something that's bigger than you. It's worth riding, it's worth raising money, because you're saving lives. And now your investment is going to help somebody with cancer in the future. You can make a difference. Join up.